Hi everyone, welcome to today's Nursing Rapid Review brought to you by Picmonic, where we are going to be focusing on NCLEX style questions and how to answer them using Picmonic. So basically what we do is we take all the hard to remember information in nursing school and turn it into fun, crazy characters and pictures so that you can remember the details fast. And today, because it is February and we're all full of love, we are focusing on the heart but we are going to be talking about myocardial infarctions. So let's jump right into a question that you would typically see on a nursing exam or on a board style prep question. The nurse is assessing a 60 year old male admitted to the emergency department with chest pain. Which of the following would most likely indicate that the patient is having a myocardial infarction? Select all that apply. So select all that apply immediately. A lot of us panic. I know this very well. And it's like before you can even look at the answer options, you're already having a meltdown. All you have to do right now is really breathe and focus and ask yourself what the question is asking you. Because a lot of times it's as simple as that. We just go ahead and go back to ADPI, the nursing process, if we all can remember that. ADPI standing for assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation, and look at that and apply it to these NCLEX style questions and realize that it's it's just might be asking me a portion of the, of the nursing process. Specifically here, when I'm looking at this, um, it looks like to me an assessment question. Why? Because it's saying, what are the signs and symptoms that would indicate that the patient is having a myocardial infarction? Basically, it's asking me to be a detective. So this is where we need to understand the content, where we need to really understand what a myocardial infarction is and how it would present itself. When we look at the answer, answer options, we have one, pain typically lasting less than 20 minutes, two, pain typically lasting more than 20 minutes, three, pain unrelieved by nitroglycerin, four, pain relieved by nitroglycerin, five, vomiting, six, dry red skin, and seven, impend fear of impending doom. Here is where we can jump into the Picmonic to help us really remember these details. So let's jump right into the myocardial infarction assessment Picmonic. Remember myocardial infarction assessment by the scene of a supermarket race where contestants make a mad dash for groceries. Myocardial infarctions present with substernal chest pain represented by the below the sternum chest pain bolt. This pain is often described as a crushing or dull sensation shown by the crushed dull guy. It can radiate to the arm, jaw, and neck shown by the arm, jaw, and neck guy. It often lasts greater than 20 minutes shown by the greater than 20 minutes timer. It is important to remember that this chest pain is unrelieved by nitroglycerin, the fart cloud not suppressed by the nitro glacier since the artery is already too occluded. The patient may also experience palpitations, shown by the heart with palpitating paw, which they may state feels like, my heart skipped a beat. Diaphoresis, shown by the sweaty sweatband, occurs due to a sympathetic nervous system response to pain. In severe cases, patients may experience the sensation that they are dying, otherwise referred to as the fear of impending doom, shown by the guy holding the sign in fear of impending doom. Nausea and vomiting may also be seen, shown by the guy vomiting all over the place. The bystander yells out, SOB, which represents patients experiencing SOB, or shortness of breath. Lastly, be sure to monitor for arrhythmias, shown by the monitor for the broken arrhythmia drum. To summarize, myocardial infarction includes assessment findings such as substernal chest pain, which may be described as a crushing or dull sensation and can radiate to the arm, jaw, and neck. The pain typically lasts longer than 20 minutes and is unrelieved by nitroglycerin. The patient may also experience palpitations, diaphoresis, a fear of impending doom, nausea, vomiting, and shortness of breath. Be sure to monitor for arrhythmias. In every Picmonic, you are going to see here a main image in the center of the screen, and then you're gonna see on the left-hand side a fact list. So these facts are the high-yield information that you need to be aware of 
for your nursing exams, the ones that you're typically going to be tested on. And then if you click on those facts, you can open the box and see the definition for a little more detail. But what you really want to see here is that every fact corresponds with a character in the main image. And those are going to be your little memory triggers. And they're going to help you on these nursing exams. So if I scroll down and I see the assessment, I see signs and symptoms including substernal chest pain, crushing or dull sensation, arm, jaw, and neck pain, pain lasting more than 20 minutes, ding, ding, ding. We see an answer option there. If we click on that, we see the character is the 20 minute timer, the arrow, the little more than sign 20 minute ti timer um, with the dollar bill. So immediately I'm gonna see that, I'm gonna remember that image and that is gonna stick out to me. We also scroll down and see pain unrelieved by nitro, which is the nitro glacier not being suppressed. And we can really immediately remember that image and know that that fact is gonna to correspond to that answer option. We also have other signs and symptoms here, palpitations, um, fear of impending doom, if you remember that one, and nausea and vomiting, shortness of breath. So you're gonna go through and see these characters and really start to commit this main image into your memory so that you can bring it up when you are stressed and taking this exam and it's gonna be so much easier. So let's go back to our answer options. Um, we have pain unrelieved by nitro. That immediately is, if I remember my little glacier that's not being suppressed. Um, I know that's an answer choice. So therefore I can cross off and eliminate the one that is not the opposite of that, right? Then we have pain that's uh, lasting more than 20 minutes. Again, do you remember the little timer, more than the little arrow sign, the more than sign with the 20 minute or the $20 bill. Therefore, I can immediately cross out the opposite one, right? So we're already taking out some answer options. I'm getting way less stressed out. So it's really just taking the time to remember these things and focus on the overall goal. Finally, uh, warm, dry skin. Now I do remember seeing the sweaty sweatband, so I know that it's like the opposite of that, right? It's sweat, it's gonna be sweaty skin. So I can cross that answer option off. And then fear of impending doom, do you remember that fear guy, the little character with the impending doom sign? So I already have my answer options quickly remembered, stored into my memory, and therefore I can quickly assign them to these answer options. Okay, let's go into another question, very similar, but different. Um, a 45 year old woman is brought to the emergency department with complaints of pain shooting up her left arm and a dull crushing sensation in her chest. Sound, oh, she is diagnosed with minor cardio infarction. What is the nurse's priority intervention? So again, let's go back to the ADPI. So, when I see the key term here, and we'll talk about this in just a minute, but when I see priority intervention, that already tells me they're looking for an intervention. So anything that is not an intervention, we can immediately rule out. Um, asking the patient, let's look at their answer options. Asking a patient on a level of a pain scale from one to 10, gather information about when and where the event occurred, obtain a patient health history, administer ordered aspirin, document the findings. Okay, so really pay attention to those answer choices. Now, before I go back and look in the PICMONIC, remember this is a priority intervention. Some of these answer options are not interventions, so we can rule them out right away. Ask the patient level of pain on a scale of one to 10. That should have been done already, right? For the assessment, because that's what you do during an assessment. So we don't even, that's not an intervention. Immediately, we can cross that one out. Gather information about when and where the event occurred. Again, assessment. Obtain a patient health history. Again, assessment. See, these three first, these first three, they aren't relevant because it's not, those aren't interventions. Yes, they definitely needed to have been done. Not right now, because right now we're on the intervention portion. Okay, so now we have administer ordered aspirin or document the findings. Document the findings we're always going to want to do, but is it the right time? Document the findings, that's like not a priority intervention, right? Administered ordered aspirin, we know. Now let's jump into the Bicmonic. Recall myocardial infarction interventions by the Mayo Heart Infarction Fart being saved by his friends. One set of interventions for this condition can be remembered by the acronym MONA. The M stands for morphine, shown by the Morphine Ranger. 
The O is for oxygen, shown by the O2 tank, while the N is for nitrates, shown by the nitro tank. Lastly, A stands for aspirin, shown by the aspirin guy blasting a trombone light, which represents thrombolytics, that aids in dissolving the clot in one of the heart's arteries. Okay, so you'll see that we use the same characters throughout the entire Picmonic library. Again, we have the main image in the center of the whole Picmonic. The Mayo heart infarction fart is get there again showing up because we know that it is a myocardial infarction that we are talking about. Now let's look at the fact list on the left-hand side. We have morphine, oxygen, nitrates, aspirin, na -na 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 -na, and thrombolytics. Um, and then we have invasive uh, procedures, which we aren't talking about. Aspirin, remember, was an answer option, and the aspirin is shown here by a little aspirin. Basically, it is given as an intervention when there is a myocardial infarction. The other things are also given, but those weren't our answer choices. The aspirin was an answer choice, and we ruled everything else out just by using ADPI. So really, really focus on that. Like A lot of times, these answer options are going to be really easy to narrow down when you can just really ask yourself what the question is asking you and it's very simple there's no need to stress about it when we just break it down so option number four administer ordered aspirin is going to be the final answer all right so the basics just coming all back together read the entire question then reread the entire question breathe reread the question because a lot of times we get a lot of anxiety around this when there doesn't need to be Ask yourself, what is the question asking me? That's really just like, take a second, center yourself, ask, ask yourself what the question is answer, asking me. This, a lot of times, the key words will let you know that. So some tips for success, assessment questions, like the first one that we had just done. Remember the first question that we talked about, that was an assessment question. And sometimes key words that will trigger you into remembering that it is an assessment question are some things like assess, collect, determine, gather information, identify. These are all assessment detective style questions, right? Then we have tips for intervention questions, tip, keywords for intervention questions, like one we just did. So that would be um, words like action, next, intervention, implement. These are all little triggers to help you like realize that this is um, what kind of question this is and therefore easy to eliminate some of those answer options. So happy heart month, everybody. And um, that is all we have for today. And I hope this helped you and you're studying. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these videos to break down these NCLEX style questions so they are not stressful and you can really get a grasp on going in and feeling confident and acing your exams. And until next time, thank you for watching. Happy studying, bye.